Howdy, folks. Widget Wallace from NeatCoffee.com here. The very active. Howdy, folks. That's right. We did that hackneyed shit of stealing someone's signal. Howdy, folks. It's not Widget Wallace here from Not Need Coffee. Although this is served from sort of need coffee. I, I, I appear there on occasion. Uh, lighting is happening, in case you needed to know, because we're Hollywood like that. And uh, let me tell you what's going on here. First of all, uh, Widge is off seeing some frou-frou film, like uh, Naked Lunch with My Naked Lunch with Andre's, Hannah's sister's left foot. And, uh... Okay, so, got a way homer. Uh, sort of. It's a pirated way homer because Widge is off seeing some vagina monologues or something. So basically, we just saw a movie. Well, we, I'll just say why not. And uh, we're going to do a Way Parker. That's right, we're going to run around this parking lot and uh, tell you about the movie we just saw. So the movie that we saw today was 21 Jump Street. 21 Jump Street with Channing Tatum and um, Jonah Hill. So Jonah Hill, trying to become this miraculous actor in Hollywood. <laughs> kind of a surprise. I know, you're shocked. I'm kind of shocked too, to be honest with you. Not 3D. Um, although, hold on. Um, first of all, was not excited to see this film. Really was not. Was, uh, was I wouldn't say dragged into this film by my partner, but... Uh, my partner and I did go and see the film. He, he told me what we were seeing, and I was kind of like, really? We're going to spend money on that? Quick synopsis. It's a uh, take on the uh, Johnny Depp vehicle from the 1980s. It's 1980s, right? Uh, maybe even the early 90s. Uh, that's my camera wrangler. Soon. Um, and, uh, oh, actually, there's more of a Richard Grieco vehicle, really. It launched his career uh, essentially into the stratosphere. Um, Johnny Depp did a couple of other films since then, but that's not important. You know what? It really wasn't bad. Really wasn't bad. It was fun. Uh, you have to understand, um, you're not going to an Oscar film. Although Casablanca was at uh, the theater today, a one night only kind of a show. And uh, I think John and I both were excited to see Casablanca, but uh, for whatever reason, we saw 21 Jump Street. Um, then some chick married a football star. That was something else that happened. So anyway, 21 Jump Street. Got a little rain, by the way. Um, I know, it never rains in Florida. Oh, the synopsis. Oh, uh, yeah, so it's uh, basically uh, two guys. They're uh, uh, cop buddies, and they go undercover as high school students and uh, completely... Believable when uh, Jonah Hill and was it Chatham Tatum Tatum Chatham? Uh, I hardly knew him. Uh, ooh, that's it. That's essentially the synopsis. Uh, it was it was actually entertaining because you go in knowing what you're going to get. You're not going to get great, fantastic, awesome movie. But uh, one of the things that they did that was the best in this movie, they made fun of themselves all through the filming the entire time. I liked it a lot. I thought it was actually very funny. Um, uh, one of the best parts of the film that kind of set the tone for the film, you know, there, there'd be this fantastic chase scene and there would be uh, essentially the opportunity for all these things to explode and blow up and become a terrible wreck and disaster. And they'd be like, whoa. Nothing happened. What's going on there? Uh, was Nick Offerman, who uh, plays their first chief, or first uh, boss, whatever. Um, after they get busted, there's a small montage. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Oh, there it is. Uh, there's a small montage where uh, they go to the training academy. They become friends. Um, and then, of course, they... Clarity ensues, and they uh, wind up not being able to be cops 
uh, traditional cops, and so they sent him to 21 Jump Street. Um, and Nick Offerman uh, succinctly sums up exactly what 21 Jump Street is and what this movie is all about, which is a, uh, a comedy, A. B, uh, kind of a nice take on your typical buddy film. I imagine it's what Kevin Smith wanted to do with uh, that cop undercover or whatever the heck, cop, true cops, something cops with uh, uh, um, whatever it was, cop and a half, you know, somebody else. So, you know, they were making fun of themselves. I liked that. One thing that I really wasn't a big fan of, some of the casting. Now, they make fun of that too. They say, well, geez, you're like 40 years old. You know, what are you doing in high school? So, you know, they're, they, you know, they're making fun of that. But, like, the high school girl lead looked like she was, like, 35. And I'm kind of like, wow. Plus, she's got big, giant, black caterpillar eyebrows on a blonde. I'm like, wow, come on. At least make the curtains match that. Yeah, so it's definitely a must-see from me. I would, uh, I would say that it's a... Uh, if I was giving it on a five cup scale, how many scales does he, how many cups does he actually do? Four or five? I think it's five. Well, then I would give it a, uh... anyway. So, yeah. Um, good film, fun. Um, $10 was a little bit pricey for 21 Jump Street, in my opinion, but it was fun. It was certainly a, a matinee, and, and definitely, if not a matinee, then. Uh, certainly pick it up and, uh, and rent it. I would definitely rent it. I'd, I'd watch it again on Netflix. Uh, I'd have a difficult time necessarily paying for it to, to go and see it again, but I'd, I'd find a way, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd Netflix it, for sure. Four. Because I liked it that much. I thought it was funny. There's a lot of, there's a lot of gags, a lot of... And actually... You know, here's the thing. Jonah Hill actually acts. Again. Funny. And not the, ha, ah, look at me, I'm just kind of awkward. Um, so let's talk cups. Five, five cups game? Five cups game. Five cups. Um, I don't know that I, I certainly can't go five. I don't even think I can go four. But you know what I will do? I'll go three and a half. I'll definitely do three and a half cups. It, it was entertaining. It really was. It, it, it was a good time. It was. It was a, a couple hours. Maybe not a couple hours. An hour, forty-five minutes probably. But it was. Uh, it was fun and uh, some good cameos and some good little uh, spots that happened here and there throughout the uh, the filming. Uh, um. Uh, and and uh, Tatum uh, Hawk Hawk from GI Joe. That's how I know him. Duke. Um, Duke. Duke. Exactly. Duke from. Uh, gee, I just see how well I know him. He uh, he does an excellent job too, and uh... um, it was fun. I, you know, it was fun in a non-taking itself seriously idea. Awesome cameo at the end. So, if you're uh, a person that doesn't take themselves too seriously or take filmmaking so seriously, I think you'll I think you'll enjoy this. You gotta have uh, have some appreciation for the dumb funny, so to say. So uh, three and a half cups. That's what uh, that's what we're gonna give it. Three and a half cups. I'd give it four cups out of five. That's that's all I have to say about it. I don't know what else to say about it. So check it out. It's probably worth your time. But anyway, uh, we just off seeing some fur movie. So you know, that's our take. And he refuses to see Twenty One Jump Street. I'm not sure why. All right. So close it. You'll have to edit, so. Okay. I mean, that's recording right now, right? Yes. Okay.